Billy Williams was born in Muskegon, Michigan. His earliest influences included the big band country swing of Bob Wills and his Texas Playboys, plus a lot of early jazz music. He moved to Arizona in 1958 at the age of 21 after a stint in the Army. He had been playing guitar with some other soldiers in Germany in a country swing band called the Cracker Jacks. That band included Tom Paul Glasser, who would later appear on the classic Wanted, The Outlaws album with Willie Nelson, Waylon Jennings, and Jesse Coulter. The Cracker Jacks band had the idea they might want to keep the band going after they were discharged. They met up in Phoenix, and Billy started his long career of performing and shaping musical history in Arizona. We decided, because one of the fellows uh, was transferred to Nuke Air Base, and still had like eight or ten months left on his tour of duty, so all us young guys came out here, and I'm the only one left. He performed in many bands and at many local night spots around town. One of those early bands was the Versatones. Well, um, I played uh, on uh, a weekend job uh, at a, a place called, on West uh, McDowell called The Mug. Around 1966, Billy got the job of playing guitar in the country band The Rogues at the Satin Doll in Phoenix. They later moved to the new West Side nightclub, Mr. Lucky's. He played at Mr. Lucky's for a total of 20 years. The Rogues had a few different lead singers during this time, including Burge Warner, Ray Sanders, and J. David Sloan. Billy's legend grew and his involvement in our music scene was widespread. He was an arranger and producer for countless acts. He did a lot of recording session work. When Billy was in Luxembourg in 1983 playing a show with the Rogues, he met a young singer-songwriter from Texas named Lyle Lovett. The two discussed working together. Two or three months later, Lyle called and wanted us to go into the studio with him and record some demos. And that was the beginning of his first album. In 1984, Billy gathered various members of the Rogues and other local musicians and singers, including Francine Reed, and they recorded a lot of great songs. A deal was made with MCA Records and a successful career for Lyle Lovett was begun. Billy Williams went on to produce many albums for Lyle and countless other artists. Billy is an Arizona treasure and a big part of Arizona music history. <laughs>